Hello everyone, welcome to this guitar tutorial. And today we're going to be learning about Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, as well as every other nursery rhymes that sounds like this, such as the ABC song, as well as the Baba Black Sheep. Quick disclaimers, I'm going to be playing this song as close as accurate to its original audio as possible, or how you guys usually sing this song, as well as playing it as simple as possible so that more of you guys will be able to follow. And yeah, that said, let's go straight right into it. So when it comes to playing this song, when it comes to plucking the strings, I decided to separate the tabs into three groups. So the first group of tabs is going to be this one right here. Yep. So it's just going to be like this, open high E string, one more, it's going to be the 7th fret on the high E string, one more, it's going to be the ninth fret on the high E string, one more, and the 7th fret on the high E string. Yep, so all in all it's going to be like this. Yep, just like that. Now for the second group of the tabs, it's going to be this one right here. Yep, so it's going to be the 5th fret on the high E string. One more. 4th fret on the high E string. It's going to be the 2nd fret on the high E string. It's going to be an open string on the high E string. Yep, so all in all it's going to be like this. Yep, just like that. Then for the last group of tabs, it's going to be this one right here. Yep, first up is going to be the 7th fret on the high E string. One, one more. Then 5th fret on the high E string. One more, 4th fret on the high E string, one more, then 2nd fret on the high E string. Yep, so it's going to be like this. Yep. Then after that, we're going to be repeating this group of tabs once more. So once again. Yep, then after that, once again, we're going to be playing the first set of tabs that I showed you guys earlier, which is going to be this one right here. Yep, once more. Open, open, 7, 7, 9, 9, 7. Then lastly, we're going to be playing the second group of tabs, which is going to be this one right here. It's going to be like this. 5, 5, 4, 4, 2, 2, Once you finally figure that out, it's going to sound a little bit like this. So when it comes to the chords that we're going to be using to play this song, we're going to be using these chords right here. First up is going to be the open C major chord, which is going to be like this. That's just going to be dead string, 3, 2, open, 1, then open. Next up is going to be the open chord, F major chord, which is going to be like this. That is going to be dead string, open, 3, 2, 1, open. Yep, that's going to be dead string, open, 3, 2, 1, open. The next up is going to be the open G7 chord, which is going to be like this. When it comes to playing this song, it's going to be 3, 2, open, 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 then another first fret on the high E string. Yep. It's going to be the C major chord. It's going to be the F major chord. It's going to be the G7 chord. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so for the strumming pattern that we're going to use, it's going to be this one right here. Yep, so allow me to demonstrate, it's going to be like this. Yep, just like that. So allow me to break it down for you guys. So if you prefer using your fingers to strum, I recommend using this part of your index finger to down strum. 
then this part of your thumb to up strong pretty much yep. down down up up down up. but if you prefer using a pick it's going to be much more straightforward than that so you're just going to be using the downward motion for the down strums and upward motion for the up strums so it's going to be like this down down up and with that said, that in touch strumming pattern is going to be right for four whole counts for each chord that you're going to be playing in this song. Okay, so for the chord progression of the entire song, it's going to be this one right here. So first up is going to be the C major chord for four counts, which is going to be like this. Then it's going to be the F major chord for two counts, which is going to be like this. Yep, just the first half. Then once again it's going to be the C major chord for two counts using the second half of the strumming pattern. Now so it's going to be like this. Yep, just like that. Now for the next line it's going to be the F major chord for two counts using the first half. It's going to be like this. It's going to be the C major chord for two counts using the second half. Now this time it's going to be the G7 chord for two counts, which is going to be like this. Once again using the first half of the strumming pattern. It's going to be the C major chord for two counts using the second half, which is going to be like this. Yep, so combining those two lines together, it's going to be like this. like that. Then the next line is going to be the C major chord for two counts once again, which is going to be like this, using the first half, then the F major chord using the second half, once again, C major chord first half, then the G7 chord for two counts, second half. Yeah. Then after that, we're going to be repeating that entire thing, starting from that C major chord up to this G7 chord one more time, so once again. So putting these three lines together, it's going to be like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Then for the next line, once again, it's going to be the C major chord for four counts. It's going to be like this. So it's going to be the F major chord for the first half once again. It's going to be the C major chord for two counts. It's going to be the second half. Yep, once again. Yep. Then for the last line, once again, F major chord for two counts. C major chord for two counts. It's going to be the G7 chord for two counts. It's going to be the C major chord for two counts. Yep, just like that. So with that said, that's going to be your entire verse. And there are six verses in this song in total, which means that we're going to be having to do this for a total of six repetitions. And that's how you play this song when it comes to strumming it. So all in all, it's going to sound a little bit like this. Okay, so that's the end of this guitar tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this far into the video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it so that I'll know. And please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for your future videos. So if you guys would like me to teach anything else, just comment it down below as well. And I'll try to do it for you. And you will also be able to show your support by sending a super thanks my way down below as well. I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, if you guys would like to watch my other guitar tutorials, just click these ones right here. So good, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.